Hello, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Berg and I personally cannot live without apples. I love apples, I need them like every single day. Okay, maybe I, maybe I could live a life without them, but is life really worth living without apples? I don't think so. But there are many things out there that we as a society, we as humans simply cannot live without. Things that we have become so dependent on that we take them for granted, but if they disappeared today or tomorrow, we might be pretty screwed. So come with me now as we examine just how fragile our human society is and we're gonna start things off now with our number 10 electricity now humans obviously don't need to be plugged into a socket to survive people live their lives perfectly fine long before we harness the power of electricity and people still do this in many parts of the world but for most of you guys watching this video your lives are probably very dependent on electricity forget phones and video games we'd obviously be fine without them but we built a whole system that demands electricity to make sure we have light heating, vehicles, food storage, and computers, to name but a few. Basically, if it blinks, beeps, charges, lights up, heats up, or cools down, then chances are it's using electricity. Next up at number nine now, we have bees. Yes, that's not an error, you heard me. Without bees, humans would really, really struggle. It's as simple as that. Bees pollinate the plants that we need for food. It's estimated that about a third of the food we eat today needs bees and other pollinating insects to survive. They pollinate 70 out of the 100 crop species that feed 90% of the entire planet. That includes everything from strawberries, walnuts, watermelons, cucumbers, eggplants, mangoes, blueberries, grapes, pears, peppers, and a whole bunch of other fruits and vegetables. When I was researching this, even coffee apparently needs bees to grow, and I don't want to live in a world without coffee. But sadly, the common bee is under threat, and conservationists are trying to stop their numbers from falling due to pesticides and parasites. All right, staying on that whole theme of crops, now for our number eight, we have farms. Now, before we invented modern agriculture, humans were hunter-gatherers in the very real sense of the word. What we didn't gather from the wild we had to hunt. But over the past few thousand years, we've now reached a point where we rely on farmed food entirely for our survival. What's the alternative? Well, hunting, I guess. But these days, we couldn't just hunt for our food. There's like billions of us now. That would be impractical. And more importantly, who could do that? Who could hunt to survive? Any of you guys? I know I couldn't. We all rely on farm food so much that we will be totally lost without them. I know one guy, just one guy who could probably survive in the wilderness if like civilization collapsed and it was the apocalypse. So yeah, I'm probably going to stick with him. Coming in number seven now, we have the modern sewage system. Now this might sound like a strange one, but wait, hear me out. About 55% of humans now live in urban cities. Most of those cities have millions of people each in them and experts agree that one of the key ways we are able to do this on such a big scale is because we have the modern sewage system. Take the city of London, for example. It was the second city to ever have over a million people back in 1810, but things there were horrible. I think that's the right word. The River Thames was basically just an open sewer. It was filled with human excrement, and over the next few years, there were outbreaks of deadly cholera that killed tens of thousands of people. People had just ignored the sewer systems that were first developed by ancient people people and they realized it wasn't really possible to live in numbers this large without developing a modern sewage system. Moving on to number six now, shelter. Now it's something we just take for granted, a roof over our head, like everyone has that, right? But we're really the exception to the rule. Most species live out there, you know, outside. We're the kind of strange ones who started building shelters about 400,000 years ago and we haven't looked back since. These days, most humans will struggle to live in many places they do right now without shelter from the elements. Every big storm would just be devastating. Every heat wave and cold snap would be lethal. Even those of us who choose to live out in the wild build some sort of shelter, even if it's just like a few leaves, you know, draped over some sticks. Next up now, at number five, we have fire. The ability to create and control fire has been a part of human society for almost 800,000 years and has been essential for human development and survival. And you guys might be sitting there thinking, fire? Fire, Danny, fire's easy. Okay, well how do you guys make fire? You're not allowed any tools at all. Don't touch those matches, no lighters. How would you do it? The ability to create fire isn't just important for warmth and cooking, it's also the basis for how we turn the fuels we have at the moment into the energy that our whole system needs. No knowledge of how to create fire would be 
pretty disastrous indeed. And speaking of fuel, this leads us nicely onto our number four, which is fossil fuels. Now, obviously, we could build a society that totally uses renewable energy and everything would be fine if fossil fuels disappeared. But the reality of the world we live in is that it runs on oil, coal, and natural gas that we burn to fuel everything. Now it's true that some countries are starting to rely more on natural sources of energy such as solar power, wind power, nuclear energy and biofuels. But for the time being we are still very dependent on fossil fuels. Take the US for example. It gets 84% of its total energy from fossil fuels. That's huge. If fossil fuels disappeared tomorrow many people worry that we simply wouldn't be able to adapt fast enough and the world as we know it would just come to an end. Moving on now to our number three. Three, we have modern medicine. Before modern medicine as we know it came into being, the average person in a developed country could expect to live to the ripe old age of about 40 years old on average. That would make me like middle aged already. What a scary thought. Diseases like smallpox, tuberculosis, tonsillitis would kill people young. If they were one of the few lucky ones to make it to adulthood, they could expect about 20 more years of disease and untreatable illnesses. These days though, so so many people rely on modern medicine to keep them alive and healthy well into old age. You probably know some people yourself who need modern medicine to survive. If we didn't have things like vaccines, surgeries, antibiotics, millions of people would die because of illnesses that we can easily treat today. Alright next up now we have an obvious one. It doesn't matter how rich or poor you are, how big or small or where you come from in the world, we all couldn't live without water at number 2. Water. Most humans would die without water in three days. It's that simple. Our bodies are about 60 to 70 percent water, and we need it for absolutely everything. Every cell in your body uses water to perform the chemical processes that keep them alive and ultimately you alive. It makes up 80 percent of your blood, 85 percent of your brain. It removes toxins, keeps you cool, keeps your muscles functioning, and is found in every single bodily fluid you can name. Basically, Think of anything your body does to keep you alive. It needs water. Now, although obviously you could go a day without drinking water, I've done that. You really shouldn't for all the reasons we just stated. Experts recommend you drink four pints of water every single day in order to stay healthy, and they mean water, like actual water. Coca Cola doesn't count as water, guys. You can go three days without that, but not water. And finally, now, guys, we have the ultimate thing that not only we need to survive, but all life on Earth needs it. At number one, we have the sun. Every single bit of energy we use on Earth comes from the sun. The fossil fuels we burn today are made up of long dead organisms that got their energy from the sun. The wind energy we harvest comes from the earth being unevenly heated by the sun and creating a pressure imbalance. Solar energy obviously comes from the sun, don't need to explain that one. Every single bite we eat either came from a plant that needed the sun to survive or an animal that ate that plant to survive. It keeps us warm and not in a you know oh it's a nice warm summer's day type warm, you know a stopping earth from just being a massive ball of ice and rock kind of warm. That kind of warm. If the sun disappeared right now, most plants would die in a few weeks and then the entire food chain, including us, would die as the whole planet slowly began to freeze over as we drifted out into space forever. What a lovely thought. And when you realise this, it's no surprise that ancient civilizations used to worship the sun. They knew what was up. They knew that it really was the number one thing we could not live without. Well guys, that was that. How was that? If you enjoyed this list then give us a big thumbs up and tell me what couldn't you live without. It's okay, you're now allowed to say your phone or YouTube or you know, me. I understand. <laughs> But for real, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 if you haven't got around to it yet. My name is Danny Burke and I'll see all of you guys in a bit.